Hi, welcome to this video MATLAB and Simulink model of quadrotor drone applying force to a fixed point on vertical surface. My name is Anlu. This video is part of the project requirement for ECE 5115 Control System Lab 2 by Dr. Rose Fadi. First, I want to talk about the many purpose of the projects. We want to explore the many MATLAB built-in functions that are useful to state space design. We will talk about these type of functions and the appropriate argument later. This project also involves using Simulink. Simulink has specific state space block which we can import the ABCD matrix. We can design feedback and observe the system respond to the scope. Knowing these basic things in MATLAB and Simulink, using the given A and B matrix from the technical research paper, we want to observe and compare response between the unstable and stable system when given step input. Then we will go into how to implement the proposed LQR feedback controller into MATLAB and Simulink and study its effect on how the system responds to an adaptive feedback. Next, we ask what happens when not all the states are available for feedback. An observer is one of the solutions in such situation. We will design an observer in MATLAB and then simulate it in Simulink. Ultimately, we want to analyze how good is the design observer in estimating those observable states. Now we want to address the problem that's going to be the main focus of this project. First, we currently don't have a MATLAB and Simulink of the drone project. We are given the state space equation and the result on how the drone could apply a maximum force of 15 newton perpendicular to the wall using LQR feedback. But why is an LQR feedback needed in the first place? As we will see when we check the eigenvalue, we found that there are four repeated routes that lead to an unstable response. With the provided 4x4A matrix, we will see what happens when two of those states are not observable. Now we will go into what is given to us. We are given a 4x4A matrix and a 4x2B matrix. We have four states and two inputs. There are some fixed parameters that's given to us and display on this table here. The last deciding factor of the state space equation is theta b, which is the pitch angle of the drone. We know that they're successfully applying a force of 15 newton at a pitch angle of 45 degree. For this project, we are going to look at the system at 30, 45, and 60 degrees. To calculate the K feedback matrix from using LQR, we are giving the Q and R matrix. These are the weighted matrix that, re that the research team chosen so the drone will stabilize according to the cost function. The C and D matrix are not given. These matrix determine the output of the state space equation. How many output are there? With the C matrix missing, we are free to assume that two of the states are not observable due to, let's say, expensive sensor that can monitor angular velocity. But first, we want to look at the system when all the states are available for feedback. So our C matrix is an identity matrix and our D matrix is a 4 by 2 because we have 4 output and 2 input. Then we want to use a different C matrix when only 2 states are observable. Here we assume that the angular velocity and rotational velocity are not observable. The D matrix also changed to a 2 by 2. Okay, before we go to MATLAB, we're going to go briefly go over the flow of our code. First, we're going to input all the matrix and parameter into MATLAB. Then we're going to generate a state space realization using SS, pass on the argument ABCD. Then we're going to check the eigenvalue of the open loop system. Then we're going to get the transfer function using TF. MATLAB has built in function to check for observability and controllability. We're going to do that as well. To calculate feedback matrix, MATLAB use LQR, we pass on argument A, B, Q, and R. Then we're going to check the pole of that feedback, A minus BK, to make sure that it's in the stable region. Then to calculate the observer gain matrix L, we're going to use the place command. After that, we're going to check the pole of A minus LC. 
to make sure that it's also in the stable region and we're going to compare it against the A minus BK uh, pole. We're going to repeat the process for 45 degree and 60 degree system. After compiling the code, we should have three set of variables of 30, 45, and 60 degrees. In Simulink, I place a state space block according to this figure on the right. We will talk about this more when we're in Simulink. Okay, let's go into MATLAB. Okay, as mentioned earlier, in MATLAB, the flow of code is the same. We put in all the static variable, all the necessary matrices. Then we're going to have the 30 degrees uh, system. We calculate A and B, state space realization here. Calculate the open loop eigenvalue, transfer function. Then we have two uh, if else statement here to check for observability and an if else here to check for controllability. K matrix we use LQR, pass on argument ABQR. And we're going to check the pole of the feedback A minus BK. We use the place command to uh, calculate the observer gain. We want the pole of the observer gain to be five times as much as the pole of A minus BK so the system can respond faster and we're going to check those eigenvalues to see if they are in fact five times as much and in the stable region the same process we just repeat for 45 degree and 60 degrees so let's run our code here and let's look at the 30 degree system we have our AB CD matrix. Here are the open loop eigenvalue. As you can see, we have four repeated root of zeros. So this will cause the system to go unstable. And this is why we need an LQR feedback. This is our transfer function. Here the system is observable because the rank of the observable matrix is four. It is observable because we are now using an identity C matrix. So we are we are having four output and four state. So it's fully observable. And the controllable is four. Rank is four. So the system is controllable. And it will stay this way because we don't change the A and B matrix. So the system needs to be controllable in order for us to design an observer. These are our calculated K matrix, LQR matrix. These are the pole A minus BK. We can see that they're all in a stable region. And these are our L observer gain matrix. And these are the pole of A minus LC. As you can see, this pole here is five times as large as this pole here. So we know that our observer function is working properly. Let's check our 45 degree system. We have a minus BK pole and A minus LC pole. This one is five times as much as this one. So it's good. And they are stable. They are in a stable region. The same goes for the 60 degree system. Here we go. Five times as much as this. And they are in the stable region. This is a graph that shows our A minus BK and A minus LC pole. The blue one, the blue X, is A minus BK. And we can see that the A minus LC, which is the X, the red X, is five times as large. So for all three systems, our observer gain is basically five times as much as the, uh, the gain after feedback, the K gain. So let's go into Symbolink. In Symbolink, we have uh, three system block we have the 30 degree system in the 30 degree system we have an open loop block we have a block with feedback this block is going to have a full identity matrix with all state is observable we're gonna see the stable response here and this 
is a state space with LQR and observer. This block is going to pass on the argument of C2 with only two states is observable. And this is our observer. It's basically another state space block with the parameter setting up so it can estimate the state over here. For our input, we're going to have two step response, a two step function, row toit and your toit. We're going to observe the stable system here and the unstable system here. So let's look at. So for the open loop, we basically have A, B, C, D, straightforward. The same thing here with our LQR feedback, A, B, C, D. Our C is, is still an identity matrix. Now we have feedback. Our K is basically the calculated K feedback from LQR. This block, the only difference on this block is that we are passing on C2 and D2 because now we are only observing two states. For our observer gain, observer uh, state space block, we have A minus LC, BL, eigenvalue, uh, an identity matrix of C, and zeros. The reason why this AAC matrix is identity matrix is because we are now observing two of the input and two of the observable output. Our K uh, feedback is the same. And we have the same thing for the 45 degree system and the 30 degree system. So we're going to run our simulation for 100 seconds. Let's observe, let's see the unstable system. As we can see, when it's open loop, all of the four output will approach in, uh, unstable as time goes to infinity because we have no feedback. Here are the stable system for 30 degree. The top graph is when we have, let's run the system for 10 seconds so we can see a closer. Okay, so here's the, the stable system for 30 degree. As you can see, all the output uh, approach sta uh, stability as time goes to infinity. The top graph is where we have all four states uh, fully observable and they are, all four states feeding back to K and the system is approaching stability. The bottom graph is when only two states is observable and we are using the observer to estimate the unobservable state and as you can see, it does a pretty good job at estimating because all the lines are almost identical to each other and they also approach in the stability. All four output is approaching stability. So we know that our observer is working properly for the 30 degrees. Let's look at the 45 degree system. The same thing here. Our observer is doing the same. Uh, is observing accurately at 45 degree system. All four state and they're all approaching stability. And let's look at the 60 degree system. The same thing here. And as a matter of fact, we can see that our observer is doing an even better job because we can see that it has less overshoot compared to this one here. Let's look at the unstable respond of the 45 degrees. We can also see that the for the unstable system 45 degrees all output approach un instability as time go to infinity. The same goes for 60 degree. So we know that our observer is working because estimating all the state uh, accurately compared to when we have all four state observable. Thank you for watching.